Start by lying on your back, as I've done here. Have a small towel, I would suggest, rolled up into the, small, into the base of your back to try and keep the neutral arch in your lower back. We're gonna cross one leg over the other. I'm gonna take hold of this knee with my right hand, my right hand with my right knee, and then just lightly with the other hand, just guiding. Most of the force is coming from this right hand, and we're pulling and stretching that knee towards the opposite shoulder in that direction. It might be slightly towards the chin, it might be slightly over towards the elbow, whatever feels like it's getting to the, the bit where you need to stretch, okay? Once you've found your mark, once you've found the spot, we're now gonna hold for 20 seconds, okay? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Good. Now, as a slight alternative, we're going to try another stretch now. We're going to reach through the gap between the legs, and we're going to hold onto the opposite chin. Both legs are coming up now. What you want to do is with this elbow, the right elbow is keeping the right knee turned out. Okay, from here, and we're going to pull up. And this just gets the, the glute muscles in a slightly different way. Some of the different, different fibers that are coming around here, perhaps. And the same as before, we're now gonna hold, once we're happy with our stretch, hold it there for 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You may have seen me just increasing that little bit of a stretch as we got to the last five seconds. Important as you do this one, we're not, the bottom's not coming up away like this where we're curving the lower back, keeping that little arch in the lower back to protect the lower back. Great stuff, okay. Now, if that doesn't hit the mark, and you feel like doing something a bit more, a bit more brutal, this is the next, the next one is a really, really powerful stretch for the glutes and probably my favorite one. I'll take this away. And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna start off on all fours. We're gonna then place one leg up like this. Okay, and what we wanna be doing is having the calf and the shin flat to the floor. Okay, roughly at right angles to the body. And with that back leg goes behind us. And we're then gonna try and curve and fold the hips and the body on top of that leg. And believe me, this is a real powerful stretch. Really feel it into those buttock muscles and around the hip. Really good for hip mobility. Again, once we've found the spot, happy with that position, we're gonna do our hold now. Okay, another 20 seconds. 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, bit lower now, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Brilliant. Obviously important to remember to stretch both sides. In that case, that's my left leg. Previously, when I was on my back, I was stretching my right, but whichever you do, make sure you do both sides equally. If either of those didn't hit the mark, then this one should do. What we're going to be doing is this, up onto all fours to start with, bring your legs, you're going to stretch up in front of you. Now have your shin at right angles to the body. Keep the outside of that leg flat on the floor, so knees flat and ankles flat. You then want to take the leg that you're not stretching behind you, as I'm doing here, and the object, the, the idea is to fold this part of the hip flat onto the floor, and the rest of the body is also folding over that leg. 90 degrees at the knee as well. Okay, we're gonna come over, get to our maximum point of tension that we can tolerate, and we're gonna do our count of 20. Here we go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, a little bit low if you can, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and then slowly come off. Okay, good. So that was obviously stretching the right leg. What you now need to do is go ahead and stretch the left leg as well.